Yep, you saw me. There you go, guys. That's a fish. There you go, guys. That's unreal! Oh, this is such an awesome looking fish. Oh, yeah! All right, guys, check that out. What's up everyone, Scott the Trout Hammer here. Yes, I realize I'm wearing the exact same shirt as my last Real Talk videos because I just got done filming it and I'm in here getting rigged up for a fishing trip I'm going to do this weekend, this uh, Thanksgiving weekend, Black Friday, best day to fish because everyone's out shopping, no one's out fishing. I got ling cod on the mind because that's what I'm doing. I'm getting rigged up to do some ling cod fishing over the weekend and Kind of got an idea to tell another fishing story. So real quick before we get into the story, I'm going to ask you guys, please subscribe to the channel. I am trying to get this channel to grow to 1,000 subscribers, and I need your help to do that. So if you could, please hit the subscribe button down there, that notify bell up there, so you're going to be the first to see all the great content that's going to come from this channel. And I am now doing a giveaway for an Abu Garcia tackle satchel and two size 3,700 fishing trays that are going to come with that. If you guys want to get in on that giveaway, you guys need to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and at the end of this video, I'm going to ask for a comment that I want to see down below. All that will get you qualified for the giveaway. And obviously, when you subscribe, if your account settings on public, I can read your name. I'll give you a shout out in the Saturday video, which will probably be this Ling Cod video, so watch out for that. So the story of catching my first Ling Cod. So there was a time back in 2016 where it seemed like any time PK caught his first fish, Within a week, I would catch my first fish of the same species, and it would be like, we aren't trying to fish for the species. I know PK wasn't trying to fish for that, he was trying to fish a rockfish. But, you know, Ling Cod are kind of a rockfish. Well, Ling Cod are actually closer to a speckled trout than a rockfish. Anyway, so yeah, the PK posted a video of him catching his first Ling Cod, and Christian and I went uh, jetty fishing on Black Friday two years ago, so actually coming up on the anniversary of catching my first ling cod, well the second anniversary of catching my first ling cod, and we were fishing for rockfish and we were having a really slow day. Now a slow day for Christian and I when we go rock fishing on this part of the jetty is we catch like five fish each. That's a slow day. So sunrise happened and something that we've always done when we fish the jetties, we actually stop fishing at sunrise because we found that's when the bite turns off, but conditions look good to keep fishing. We decided Let's let's try let's try fishing into the sunrise. Let's try fishing into the morning and just see what happens. So I'm fishing with a drop shot rig. It's the same drop shot rig I used in my last jetty fishing video. Basically, just like a beefed up version of a drop shot. A uh, heavier weight. I think I was using a three quarter ounce weight, using a uh, three aught EWG hook, and using a worm kind of like this one here. But, uh, you know, same, same color, same profile, real thin finesse worm, but it had a curly tail on the end. And I was putting some shrimp oil on that, and that's actually the day I lost my shrimp oil. I think I left it on the jetty. <laughs> so we're fishing the area that we fish for rockfish, and we have no idea what's going to happen. And I'm using this, this big beefy rod. It's the same rod I'm going to use when I go jetty fishing this weekend. Had heavier line on it then. I'm kind of interested to see what 30-pound braid's going to do, but I think it's going to be fine. But yeah, I'm fishing with that drop shot, that beefy drop shot rig, and I'm just sort of like pitching out, letting it sit, nothing's happening. And then I get this weird idea to start hopping and dragging a drop shot. Now, bass fishermen, you know that's not something you do. You want to keep that weight on the ground. You want to keep that thing stationary because that's the draw of a drop shot rig is it just sits there. If you, anything, you like, you lower your rod tip down, you bring your rod tip back up, but you don't pick the weight up off the bottom. You don't want to draw attention to the weight. You want to draw attention to the plastic you're using. And for some reason, I got this idea to start hopping and dragging the drop shot. And on the fourth or fifth time doing that, I felt the biggest hit I've ever felt on that rod fishing for rockfish. I was like, that wasn't, that wasn't a rockfish. That was something bigger. So I put a little more shrimp oil on the worm, and I cast it back out. Well, I pitched it back out in the same direction and started hopping it again. And then suddenly my rod just, I don't even feel the bite. My rod just loads up. Something grabs that worm and just takes off. And now this rod is a heavy action rod. It, it takes quite a bit to put that, to put a bend in the rod like that. And, you know, it was a lot, it was easier for the fish, you know, to make the rod look like that because I was higher up on the rocks and it was down lower. But this fish started dogging, started digging in the rocks, and I'm yelling for Christian to see what I've got. 
and he at first thinks I'm snagged in the rocks because he sees how much the rod's bending, but then he sees it let up on its own and load up again, and then he comes running over. And thank goodness I brought the net. At the time, I actually couldn't see what I caught. I just had the net sitting in a part of the water to where I could land a fish into the net and then pull it back up. I had no idea what it was because the water was so foamy at the time, but I got it in there, pulled it out with the net, and big, beautiful, blue-green teal body, huge mouth full of teeth, my first ling caught ever. And this is also when I had and had apparently lost my fish grabbers because I can't find those and I've been looking for them for this trip. Anyway, I used that to grab the fish and we measure the fish as just barely the legal limit. So the legal limit uh, for keeping ling caught is 22 inches and this one was 22 point like three five inches. I think it was just over 22 inches. I mean pretty hefty too for ling cod. It was probably a five or six pound fish. And it's just it's just mad. It's angry. It's snapping all over the place. And I get a picture of it. You know Christian takes the picture for me. And uh, so then here's the funny part. I forgot any sort of knife at all to finish the fish, to bleed the fish, to put it in the cooler so I could take it home and fillet it later. So I grab a rock. <laughs> Put it on the ground, I've got my foot on the grabber and the grabber in his bottom jaw to keep it in place and I hit it with the rock <laughs> and all it does is get mad, it actually almost bites my shoe. You know, I hit it right between the eyes and Christian starts laughing <laughs> I like jump up because like I said it almost bites my shoe, I jump away from it and it starts flailing on the ground. Christian starts laughing and is like, I don't think that did anything. So I just take the rock and I spike it on the fish and the whole fish like the fish sort of like flips back up and then lands and when it lands its head is completely flat one eyeball sticking out and going that way and then we start laughing again like I think that did it. I actually did catch another ling cod in that trip we kept fishing but that one was under the legal limit I think it was like 20 inches so released that one back into the water but yeah that's the story of me catching my first ling cod. Brought the fish home. Oh man, it's delicious. Ling cod tastes so good and freaky too because, you know, the meat is also blue. Well, actually, it looks more like Great Blue Dini Kool Aid. If you guys ever had that when you were a kid, if you're also an 80s kid, you guys know what color that is. It's a weird light blue color. If I cooked it, the meat turned white. It was delicious. Wife loved it. Wife was happy. She was also amazed that the fish looked, uh, looked blue also on the inside. Yeah, pro definitely the meanest fish I ever caught. You know, one of the hardest fighting fish I ever caught. Like I said, it dogged so hard. It just, like, it dove. It did not want to be caught. Sitting there going through the rock zone. Hey, look, here's a little shrimp. How Okay, now I'm going through this. So let me know what you guys thought down in the comments below. And I want to know if you guys have caught Ling Cod. I want to know your guys' story of catching your first Ling Cod if you guys have. If not, let me know if you plan on going to do Ling Cod fishing. Right now is a great time to do it because there are really cold water species. They're coming into the base and start spawning in the winter, and now that we're finally getting some rain, they're going to be coming fast. Like I said, that will get you qualified for the giveaway for the Abu Garcia Tackle Satchel with two size 3700 tackle trays that are going to come with it. If you guys like this video, subscribe to the channel, and like I said, let me know what you guys thought down in the comments below. Tell me your story of catching your first Link Cod. I am trying to get this channel grown with thousands of subscribers, and I need your help to do that, so if you could please hit that subscribe button down there and that notify bell up there, so you're going to be the first to see all the great content that's going to come from this channel. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me, and as always, tips up, tight line, and have fun fishing.